So several months back, I got one of these Vivo Ultrasonic cleaners. I did a review on this channel. I've actually done uh, two videos. One was an unboxing and showing you how to use it. And then I've actually used it again and done another video where I've shown how to clean rust with this ultrasonic cleaner using um, you know, a couple of different solutions. Recently, one of my viewers pointed out that there is some safety issues with Vivo products, particularly ultrasonic cleaners. And I thought this was quite interesting. He pointed me towards a UK government report that recalled a lot of different uh, Vivo products. I think I counted about up to 34 different products. And he said, uh, yeah, check it out. You might be interested because there's a lot of different products from Vivo coming to the UK that are being rejected at customs and at the border and being sent back. And I have actually since checked out the Vivo website and they do have a section there focused more on the UK, I guess, consumers that there are a number of their products that uh, are being recalled due to various different reasons. I checked out their site about these cleaners and I printed off one of their reports and they have a number of these style of cleaners listed uh, on that website with some legitimate safety concerns. Now, particularly these style of cleaners that have this blue sign here and the digital readouts here. For example, it says here, this product presents a high risk of electric shock. All right, that's concerning. As the earthing arrangement on this appliance was considered inadequate. The earthing terminal had not been locked against accidental loosening. Due to this, the earthing could likely not stop the device from electrocuting what the consumer if an issue occurred. So I thought it's worth uh, actually checking this out. Now, I am not sponsored or anything like that by Vivo. Uh, you know, I have purchased a number of their products and to be fair, I have not had one problem with any of their products. But what I thought would be interesting in this video and worthwhile to show you is I'm actually going to open up this particular uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Now I'll just show you this, just before you actually open it up. The model is actually listed on the rear and you'll see my one is the JPS40A. Mine's a 10 liter capacity, but JPS40A. This was not listed on their recalled items. And I will just show you, I've actually listed down all of the JPS uh, products, ultrasonic cleaners, and you got the 08A, 10A, 20A, 30A. My one is the 40A and it's not listed there. Then it jumps up to the 100A. Now, obviously these range up and up and up in sizings. And then it's got a few others there. Uh, my one here, the JPS, style ones look like this okay this is what they look like and even though mine's not listed on here i thought it's a worthwhile exercise open this up and i want to have a look how this is earthed just to see if there is an actual danger or risk of electrocution i'm going to say that there's not but i would like to know what this looks like and give you the viewer an idea maybe what they are concerned about in these other models in any instance on the Australian Vivo site, they are selling this one. None of the ones that they're selling on the Australian site are recalled products. So to be fair to the Vivo company, I think that's a good thing at least, but let's open this up and have a look where maybe the issue lays. Okay, so opening up the ultrasonic cleaner here, let me just so show you what's what's in here. All right, so we have the the power input at the back there. So we plug our mains in here, and being Australia, this is 240 volts. It comes on through to this inside, okay, and we have the switch mechanism down on the bottom. Now the earthing arrangement on this particular uh, cleaner is we have an earthing cable here and to be fair this just feels like straight out uh, power cable so 2.5 square power cable what i can see is it is earthed to the screw let me just see it. that goes from there 
and that comes all the way through to this side and this earth to this actual uh, metal casing right here. That's secured by a little small bolt and washer, which is pretty typical in these kinds of devices. That simply goes off to the earthing part up here, like so. And that's pretty normal. All right, so in relation to the way this is earthed, personally, I can't see any problem on this particular model. Remembering, this recall was for the JPS 30A. Mine is the JPS 40A. So I don't know what the other models, you know, their earthing arrangements were. I can't see an issue with this particular one. Over here, it says that the earthing terminal had not been locked against accidental loosening. And due to this, the earthing could likely not stop the device from electrocuting the consumer if an issue occurred. In my view, this is actually locked off and it's fine. It uh, doesn't move. So I'm wondering if they're talking about maybe on some of the other products, this had not been sufficient and there was possibly a few products that they found that it was loose. Maybe that's the issue. Now, just looking at the rest of the arrangement inside this uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Look, I'm no expert with ultrasonic cleaners. You know, uh, I figure these are the devices that make that sound, causing uh, cavitation or bubbles within the solution that's inside of the container. Everything seems to be as it ought to be. You know, everything's nice and tight. We have the controller board down here and that's obviously the digital display. It's all wired. I think it's perfectly fine. You know, we've got this fan here and we've got this PCB right here with all the capacitors and transistors. Everything looks fine to me. I thought I'd just show this to you and uh, I can't see any issues with this particular model. But then again, these models, there obviously were issues. Anyways, I'll just put this back together again now. So let's plug this back in. Turn it on. Up come your digital readings. Look guys, all I can say is, at the end of the day, double check your model. If you've got a Vivo ultrasonic cleaner, I'll put a link in the description as to where this information is stored at on the UK government report. Once again, my one is the JPS 48. It's not on the recall list. You can check all of that out before you purchase one of these from Vivo, you know, and just make sure that you get the one that I've got and not one of these ones. All the information is upon their listing for each of their products. End of the day, you've also just got to make sure you use this properly. Like there are some warnings on the front that says the unit must be connected to the ground. Okay, that's just having your power plug correctly earthed and grounded, you know, not having any funky electrical setup. Okay, it says do not disassemble the unit. Whoops, except for authorized servicemen. Well, it's pretty basic as you could see that I did it. Don't touch the socket with wet hands to reduce the risk of electrocution. That goes with any electrical device. And do not use this unit when the tank is not to fill the water. In other words, in English, when there's no water in here, don't turn on the ultrasonic function. That's it for this video. I thought that would be interesting just to show you. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.